everyone, this is Ren from Strong Girls Knits, and I'm back. Uh, things have been crazy, and that's why I kind of um, just have been gone. Uh, I'd rather not half, excuse my language, I'd rather not half-ass this than, um, than, you know, be away. So I, I think it would, I prefer to give you guys better content than just sitting here with nothing and not feeling it. Um, so. Anyways, I'm back, uh, and this video is not actually an episode, this is more, uh, this is going to be a vlog about the yarn crawl that I recently did. It is the Ileana yarn crawl. It takes place around where I live. Uh, last year it was nine shops, this year it was eight shops, and it was in the <laughs> eight that were included, and I don't have my thing on me, um, I will post, I'll post a list, but uh, if I don't remember all of them, there's one in Terre Haute, Indiana, Caseyville, Illinois, or no, I'm Casey, Illinois, Rockville, Indiana, and then Vincennes, Indiana, where I actually uh, did my first two years of undergrad, and then Huntingburg, <laughs> Indiana, Boonville, Indiana, Evansville, and then Vincennes. So, uh, I did not, my group, which I will you're going to meet all of them, but uh, there's Miss Cheryl, Donna, Deborah, Dana, <laughs> Kristen and Jess, and then myself, of course. But we just went, we didn't do the first three stores because they're very far up north. Um, we only went as far as Vincennes, Indiana, and we started there. We met and left Evansville at 8 a.m. and got to Vincennes like shortly after they opened. And just went from there, had lunch in Boone, Booneville, yep, at a very nice place called Double D. And I'm not sure if I have much video there, but I will insert that um, if we do, if I do. And, uh, and then finished up in the Evansville shop and went home. So uh, next year we had a lot of fun. It was so much fun and it's so great just having an entire day just yarn and being with your friends and whatnot. Uh, like I said, there was seven of us. We all traveled in Cheryl's minivan, which we greatly appreciated her driving. Um, and it was just fun. We had fun and I don't know. It was just a really great day. It wasn't too, I mean, it was really hot at the end of the day when we got back to our cars because we had left them parked at, um, like a big parking lot. Um, and so that, that wasn't pleasant, but everything else was just so fun. And, um, yeah, it was just fun. And I will say for this yarn crawl, I, this is actually the first one I've fully participated in. Um, this, this year when, before I went shopping, I was like, okay, I, I had set patterns in plan, um, for, for what I was going to buy. And then the, like the two things that I didn't, or that I bought, um, I either thought of, found a pattern right there before I even bought it. Or, um, you know, if the other thing was like sock yarn, which it's going to be socks. So I don't need a pattern right now. Uh, <laughs> so let me go ahead and, or well, how I'm going to do this, I'm going to go in order of the shops we visit, uh, talk a little bit about it, show you all the video I have from it, which a lot of it is a little shaky. I apologize. Um, I will get better at vlogging, uh, <laughs> but, and then show you what I purchased and then move on to the next store. So the first one is called Atkins, hold on, Atkins Farm Yarns. It is in Vincent's, Indiana. This was the very first one we started. Uh, and this, I actually have a pretty long history with this store. It was the first, my first yarn store starting out. Uh, like I said, it was in Vincent's, Indiana. I have a lot of history in that town. There was the program I was a part of, Upward Bound. Uh, if, if your child is able to, I definitely highly suggest it. I loved my experience. The, that's how I met my two best friends who, out of all of my friends thus far in my life, have probably been, you know, I've known them forever. And, and it was all because of Upward Bound. Anyways, besides all that, uh, this store is just very nice. It started out as a very little, just a, like a converted house, which when you see the video, I'll walk in and that's all the original house. But then as we move towards the left of the entrance, there's a very big open room with a kitchen and whatnot. That is in a, a they added that. It's been a few years since they've added that on, but that's the add-on. That's not part of the original original house 
and it's just it's just so lovely the owner Cheryl Cheryl Atkins of course uh, she is very wonderful she is great with faces she can remember you uh, like nobody's business I I remember there was it had been like a couple years since I had seen her I just hadn't been able to you know this was during college and been able to see her or go up there and came in and actually no I saw her at a, um, a fiber fest festival in like uh, the next town over and she remembered ex who I was and asked and everything and it was it's just it was really awesome and she has a very great local knitting excuse me knitting group so anyways here is the video of um, Atkins farm yarn and as I said you're going to see there are when you come in there's gonna be uh, a room to the right and then a room straight in front of me and then there's the big room to the left which like I said it's the addition but and here Pierdel is okay hi everyone this is Ren from strong girls knits and I'm here on the first leg of the <laughs> yarn crawl Cheryl wants to join me where are you there you are hi 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 can't wait to buy yarn Yes. So our first stop here is Atkins Farm. This is in Vincennes, Indiana. Um, I want to say it's probably one of the oldest yarn stores in our area. Um, it started out originally, as you can see, like a little house. And then she's expanded on, which I will show later. But the owner here is Cheryl. She's my favorite, uh, one of my favorite people that I've met since I've started knitting over 10 years ago. So uh, let's go in and see everything. And then I'm gonna show you Cheryl again. And she'll come back, Cheryl. Come back. Come back, Cheryl. No, come here. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Thank you. <laughs> One of my customers makes all these bags. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, aren't those sweet? How are you doing? I'm good. Hi, Cheryl. I'm recording. Sorry. Oh, well, that's okay. Oh, yes. Say hi, Deborah. Hey. <laughs> and Jeff. <laughs> We are a crew of uh, seven today in a minivan. It's been interesting. <laughs> Five mini skeins. Oh, that Isn't is it pretty. gorgeous? It's pretty. What's the pattern? So let's see. Crazy Daisy Cow. Three dollars on Ravelry. Nice. And that's 180 stitches on a number six needle. By mini skeins. Really pretty. Oh, that's awesome. I love have, that. Have you seen the? Uh, and there's the bathroom with Kristen. <laughs> Hi, this is Miss Pearl. She's been here just as long as the store. And she's tired of me. <laughs> she is forceful. Yeah, she's just forceful. So, yeah. And as you can see, they're, uh, yeah, I love the store. Everyone's great. And you saw Miss Pearl. Uh, she has been there since I've been going to that store. And it's spelled P-U-R-L. It actually took me like five years before I realized that it's actually, that was how she spelled it. I'm totally ridiculous. Um, I just never clicked. So <laughs> I, like I said, went there and, and you can see all the different stuff. She has it. Um, I think she has a great selection. And that new room is just so cozy and wonderful. And like I said, the group is really great where um, they, you know, they're very welcoming. And then if, you know, you're, you don't know them and you don't really want to talk to them, which is fine too. They don't, I don't know, they're not weird about it. Because at one point, uh, one of the videos where I'm sitting there petting Miss Pearl and everyone's checking out, uh, there was these two women. I was kind of close to them. And they knew I just wanted to play with the dog. I you know, I didn't want to bother them and they just kept talking about their business and it, it wasn't weird or anything. Um, so it was great. I love that. Uh, Miss Cheryl also had, <clears throat> also had a, uh, local 
there's they had a trunk show going on which was nice all of the stores except well all the ones I went to except for the one that is closing they had trunk shows from a, a local dyer of some sort uh, an indie dyer, an indie dyer apologies and then even someone that made soaps and lotions at Miss Cheryl's store uh, they had made a specific lotion and a specific bar of soap for the yarn crawl it was yarn crawl themed and I don't think I have any pictures of that but um, it was really nice too I think my friend my knitting friend <laughs> Cheryl uh, bought some of the lotion which it did smell nice anyways what I bought from there because so my goal for this trip was I wanted to knit the Wonder Woman shawl so I had to get yarn for that I wanted to do the find or the sew faded sweater which I had yarn but I needed like a I need a like a fourth color to go with it and then from there it was just kind of I found some other projects but anyways so from Atkins Farm Yarn and here's what was on the bag and I bought two skeins of this red it's Cascade Cascade 220 fingering and it's it's much darker than it yeah that's a better color it's it's a dark darker red and this color is 9404 very nice it was only 525 when and I bought a passport so you bought a $10 passport and you got them stamped at each place turned it in and it gets you into drawings but um so I got 10% off of my, of my purchase at every single store that I bought something but it was only 525 which is I think is a very reasonable good deal uh they're 50 50 gram balls so I bought two of these uh she didn't have a yellow that I liked for it so I got this and then I bought this black it's the same brand and I bought it for the so faded sweater but then I ended up finding a different black at another store which that's fine I can use this for um socks and I can use it for something and even uh like leftovers from my Wonder Woman shawl I could combine the three which I You'll see the yellow here in a bit, but um, I can combine the three and make something I think would be really pretty. So I bought this, and I also bought, sorry, Plymouth Yarn Dream Baby DK, the paint pot. And this color is just $14.10. Again, this was only $5. And I bought a blue color, my foster brother, a uh, longtime friend. Anyways. He he is having a little boy due, I think, at the end of September. And I saw this, and I, I just really wanted... I, I just wanted it. Like, I knew that had to be for Matthew's baby. And uh, I didn't have anything in mind. I just wanted, like, one ball, which... My, one of my favorite go-to patterns uh, with, like, toys... It's, like, really the only toy pattern I've ever knit. Is where you knit this simple square. And I will insert what the pattern is itself down here. It's a free pattern. Uh, you just knit a simple square and then how you sew it together forms a bunny and here is the square knit up it's really pretty uh the repeat the pattern repeat is very wide so like between these grays is the is one full repeat um it you know i'm sure if i knit a little sh smaller or in the round it would show up a little differently but there, yeah, it kind of takes a while, so I was knitting. I'm like, wow, there's really no repeat. You know, I didn't think there was for a bit, and that, that kind of bothered me. But um, but here's the square. I've actually, so I've kind of finished one thing so far. I finished knitting it. Uh, my Kristen uh, is the one that assembles it for me. I know that's really bad. I should learn how to do it myself, but I do the hard part, kind of. Uh, and let me grab a bunny real quick, and I'll show you what this eventually will look like. Hmm. So this is Bunny. Uh, this is a very large version of Bunny. And uh, this is, Kristen knit this for me. And like I said, you knit a square and how you fold it up makes this. And then I just have to knit uh, little ears for it. Or Kristen will do that. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> there's ears as well. And it's stuffed and it's really nice. It's all, I like this. I think it's, it's definitely a great baby toy because there's no... I don't know, there's no really small bits or anything, and it's very comfy and pillow-like as well. So, anyways, that is everything I got from Atkins, and I'm also going to insert us talking about Atkins a bit, and then our drive in between. So, um, I will insert that. 
what you need. A blanket. A blanket. <laughs> we got a blanket over here too. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'm gonna flip this around. You used to be able to. What are you knitting? Who me? Oh no, you. You. What are you knitting? Uh, a baby blanket. We got all kinds of baby. Going oh, the on infamous here. baby blanket. What so, are you knitting? So this is uh, my Icelandic shawl that I finally decided to just finish with the colors I have. Thank you. you. There was one that you, you didn't do, right? You tried to you into it a long one color? Ago. Yes, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on the end and have it over with. There you go. I okay. took it to camp. I looked uh -huh. at all the different lace weights that they had between Icelandic and Jameson, and uh -huh. nothing worked. So I'm oh, just going to well. finish it, it off, and <laughs> that'll be the end of it. There you yeah, go. Yep. <laughs> Did you guys like um, Atkins? That was an awesome sure. store. I love it. I can't I believe I almost want to move to Vincent. That is a really good store. She had classic books, a really, I mean, well, I'm a book fiend anyway. And she had classic yarn lines. Mm -hmm. I mean, I yeah, I just love that store. She had a great knitting place. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That it was a so super fun spot. to drive up there on Saturday about just when it opens. She usually has seven or eight people sitting on the table. And then they order in for lunch, and or else they have, they share meals with you that they had in the fridge from. Yeah, an event the night before, whatever. And you oh, sit uh -huh. there and you have lunch and you knit till about three, four o'clock. And I mean, it is a whole fun day. They yeah. really make it fun. That's what we need to do our girls day up here. Yeah, you like this? Just come in, <laughs> just sit and chill. Yeah. But ugh, you're killing me, Cheryl. There's a winery too oh, around see, that's here. Even better. So. Yeah. A winery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, and it, they actually have really good wines because at the Jazz and Wine Fest back um, in, back home, they're always there and it's always really good. They have a blueberry one that's super delicious, and then they have like a house wine that's a sweet wine, which I appreciate. And it's really good. So, yeah. she doesn't drink. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the next store we went to was Huntingburg, Indiana, Serendipitous Yarn. Um, Yes. Seren it's either serendipity or seren yeah, it's serendipity. I'm sorry, serendipity yarn. Um, I actually, uh, I've only been to this store once before and it was when, I think it was just once. Yeah, just, just once. And it was for when I wanted to learn how to use my drop spindle. And it was a two-day class. And as I said, as I'll say again in the video, you know, I had a car accident the day of when I was supposed to go up for the second part of the class, so I never made it back, but it's just fine. She's really nice. Uh, I cannot think of her name, but I remember her dog's name, Phoebe, which Phoebe wasn't able to be there. Um, they just recently had a baby, um, maybe a couple months ago. I, to me, that's still like really recent. And Phoebe, they haven't brought back to the store while the baby's there just to trying to get everybody settled down. This is a very nice uh, yarn store. It's in downtown, the downtown part of Huntingburg on like the main street. It was really nice. I think it's pretty, she actually just rearranged everything by weight. And I think that was great because it made sh kind of like shopping so much easier. Cause it's like, okay, I need this kind of yarn for this project and was able to here's everything she has and then I can compare and see what I like, what I don't like instead of kind of hopping around the store. Um, I don't know, that's me. Like I said, I really like that. I even like to try and couple my yarn, like my at-home stash like that. Anyways, here, what did I buy? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Let me insert the video of everything. Uh, she had a trunk, go trunk show going on and I believe uh, good for you was, is the person that did, I don't, I can't quite remember. I will insert who was doing the trunk show, but here's everything from that. It's kind of short. Alrighty, we are off to, uh, what is this one? Oh, this is serendipitous, ser serendipity yarns. Is that it? What is it? Yes, ser serendipity fibers. Serendipity fiber. This is in Huntingburg. Indiana, Amistad, Illinois. Uh, <laughs> uh, Indiana, this is downtown, a nice little street corner. I've got everyone behind me. Say hi, everyone. Wait, 
There you go. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so this one, she's been open for a couple years and I don't know, she actually just redid her store so this will be nice. I actually learned how to use my drop spindle at this store. Uh, it was a two, two day class. Wasn't able to come to the second time because I had a car accident. So, <laughs> alrighty, and we're coming down here. Okay, <gasps> that's cute. Looks like they have a they have something going on over there. But yeah, um, here. it's a festival. Oh, it's a jazz. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. There's wine and everything there. Maybe we can get a bottle of wine. <laughs> All right, and here we go. You ready, ladies? Let's do it. Oh, that, that's a, not a step there. Let's don't trip. Okay, let's not trip. Blue. So, blue. It is. Okay, so, like I said, really love the store. It's so beautiful, and I think it's really, I don't know, I, it's a very classy looking store. I like it. Um, it almost has a very posh feeling to it without being snooty. Um, I, I will definitely never feel that this, like the owner nor the store is snooty. I've, I've never felt that. They actually have a really great um, Thursday night and at night they have, you know, wine and dr they have drinks. It's really nice. And like I said, the owner is very, very sweet and definitely suggests going to this place. Anyways, uh, what I bought, I'm so sorry, I'm kind of over the place right now. So all I bought here was, I, I found this Barocco Comfort Socks and it is 50% nylon, 50% acrylic and it's just this pretty, it reminds me of Easter, it's a bit brighter in the sun. Um, and again, this was only $8, I thought that was a great deal. This was nice, it was actually, so it was $8, she had 15% off of all fingering weight, which was another reason why this sold I bought this because not only was it 15% off and then I got my additional 10% off so yeah totally worth it and there is not a color way uh, it's just 1828 is the colors color way these stores need to start giving them names like just funky little names I don't just put it under or brands not stores but anyways I got this this was a off the rails buy it's gonna be socks that kind of counts it's accounted for uh, and then like I said there was that trunk show and as I was talking I wanted to do the uh, so faded sweater and I needed I wanted a black to gray something in between uh, you know something to go with the colors which I will show in a minute but this is what I bought it's the mirror ball good for you it's 95% merino wool 5% sil silver stellina and it is so pretty. It's showing up a little darker on here. Um, and the name is Mosh Pit. I kind of had to buy it just on that. Um, if you don't know, I actually listen to a lot of rock and metal music. Uh, it kind of surprises some people, but uh, <laughs> that is my music. And she told me the name. I was like, oh, I need to buy this. And Cheryl actually bought some navy from her, which... I think it's called Hello Sailor, which her husband was in the Navy, and he was needing a new pair of socks, of course, because you always need pairs of socks. And so she bought some as well, and the woman was extremely nice. I think she was actually holding the owner's baby. I don't think it was her baby. It, it could have been, but um, no, I think it was the owner's baby because the husband and wife were there, so someone had to have the baby. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, so like I said, I want to do the so faded sweater. And I have some very special yarn. I actually have designed, I haven't really gone forward with writing it up. It's the writing up that I'm stuck at. But I actually designed sock patterns for the uh, Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus. If you don't know me, I love this movie. And I had some dyed, oh yeah, you guys kind of remember these yarns. Uh, if you're what have been me with me forever you remember this yarn but I had some Sanderson sister yarn dyed up for me and it's already balled up and this is Winifred Mary and Sarah and I wanted my own hocus-pocus sweater and the reason why I wanted 
like a gray or black was to rec represent binks and I thought using the black to break up in between each of them instead of having these like just all fade into each other I want to break them up with some binks or mosh pit <laughs> I'm gonna call it binks for the sweater but, but yeah and this is sparkle as you can see and it is so pretty I actually really wanted to group it like this like this would be the first second and third with the black in between but after much consideration and chatting with the, my knit group this is how I'm going to do it um, I definitely don't want the orange near my face because of my coloring I just don't think it would look good um, so Mary's gonna be at the bottom but uh, I'll have Sarah Winifred and Mary when and with the black in between which I think would be good and it, it to me it works out because you have some wider like the whites coming through on these that they fade together better and then the oranges really connect here whereas there's not a whole lot to connect these two so anyways which makes sense because Winifred was always in the middle so anyways that was that great purchase at Sarah oh, so sorry serendipity so our next store uh, we went to was City Stitch City Stitch hold on City Stitch Yarn Shop and this is in Boonville Indiana oh I don't have a I don't have a tag for serendipity um, but I will insert the information somewhere anyways this is where we went next if you can that's pretty good focus and this is Sonia she is she's actually started coming to our knit group she watches this so hi Sonia it was so great to see your shop finally and I've already told James that we need excuses to go to Boonville for something so whenever there's an event we are going uh, <laughs> anyways Miss Sonia she is a friend of ours she's very I, I love her it was actually our first encounter was hilarious she like I said she watch, she watches the podcast and we met at our friend Dana's house and sat down and we we're talking and introducing ourselves and then she started going on about you know because uh, this was I met her after my dad passed away and started she started bringing up all this stuff and I'm like how do you know this and then but um it was kind of, it was funny and then she she had mentioned somewhere in there she'd said like she watches the podcast I was like oh okay this makes sense this isn't this isn't weird so uh but it is funny because when you meet a podcaster in real life uh you know about them but they don't know about you you know this is it's only one way but it's so nice and she's so lovely I love her I I meant to buy some stitch markers from her but I didn't and anyways here's the store I will show you and then come back Everyone have this stuff? Yay! 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 We're here to see Sonia! Sonia! Alright, this is... I can't get myself. Donna's, or, yeah, Donna's trying to sneak in there. I'll be in in just a second. Ah! Why can't I? I'm so sorry, guys. Alright, there we go. So, hey! We are here in Boonville, Indiana at the City Stitch Yarn Shop. And this is actually owned by a friend of ours who comes and knits with us frequently. Her name is Sonia. Sorry about the traffic. So we're going to head in. Um, it's a cute little storefront. And I think she actually owns the building, which is kind of rare sometimes. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and go in. I won't be hard to do. I got to have the auto thing. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? No, I don't have the money. You say hi, Sonia. Hey! Next year, I'm planning on like. <laughs> this is Sonia, the shop January, owner. So, like, hello, best friend. friend. Yep, thank you. Mm -hmm. Ben. But, and she doesn't have any oh, anim so or shop animals, do no, you? No, no shop critters. No shop critters. Since they're closing down Fun. and everything, no, I just. just been okay, so. At this point, well, she didn't have, I still needed something, the yellow for my Wonder Woman. And that was really it. Unless, again, a better black option popped up. I really wouldn't have been surprised if I finished this trip with, like, 
three or four different skeins of black yarn. But um, we looked everywhere and I was going to buy some of her hand dyed yarn, but I know her, I can go and get it again. It's not that bad of a drive to go see her. And, and I really kind of wanted to focus and stay on my list. Like I said, I was going to get some stitch markers because she hand makes these beautiful stitch markers and totally just spaced out because then we found the clearance rack, my best friend Chris and I, and yeah, had to, there was a, like a lot I wanted to get on off the clearance rack and then, and there was even like other real nice yarns that I wanted. I just got distracted. The clearance rack is my kryptonite, hardcore kryptonite. And she, she was really the only one that I found like had a good sales yarn, which you, you never really want clearance. You want them to be able to sell the yarn, but at least it's nice when you can clear the clearance off. That's my, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I bought five skeins of this. Uh, it's a nitpick Bravo worsted. It is fig color. Worsted, what? Yeah, I told you that. And yeah, I got five of these. Kristen bought five skeins of this as well, but it, it was actually two different colors. It was like two colors, two skeins of a darker blue, and then three skeins of green. Uh, she's going to make a striped sweater. Anyways, that doesn't matter. <laughs> and there was, like I said, there's a lot on the clearance rack I wanted to buy, but I was trying to calm. I had a mission and I had a list and I needed to stick with it because I had saved up $100 and I managed, I spent less than $100, which I was very proud of myself, um, or right at $100. But anyways, and I came home and the plan was, uh, if James liked it, I would find something to knit him for. But of course, it's too light for him. I think it's really pretty though. I just love, it's almost like, it's almost golden. And, and I've already found like two patterns. Uh, interweave patterns that I might knit with this. Uh, there's one I'm definitely leaning more more towards. It's more of a relaxed sweater. Um, and But the other one is like this really gorgeous cable sweater. So that that's all I'd bought at Sonia's. And I'm really bad though because she comes to knitting and she'll post things on uh, on her Facebook, the page and everything. And I'm like, oh, I really want that. So I message her and I'm like, Hey, can you bring that to uh, the knitting group and I'll give you a check. So <laughs> she sells a lot at the knitting group because uh, I'm always willing to, if I see something I want and I really want it, I just ask her to bring it and she brings it. So that's probably a little bad. I should go visit the store more, but um, it's, it's a really cute store. I like it. Um, and she definitely seems to have a good group there because uh, at one point they went and ordered, uh, they had, Mexican, I don't know if someone went and got it and brought it back, but they, they had Mexican food and it sold so good and I wanted it. We'd actually just eaten uh, at Double D's, which, um, yeah, it was delicious there as well. Uh, <laughs> but um, I think that's really it. I can't think of much more. She let me play on her spinning wheel, which I definitely need practice with. Um, yeah, I need practice. <laughs> Anyways, the next store we went to... We, because we had decided at lunch we would see how the day was going and if anyone needed to go back to their car and then kind of disperse from there. But we were all good, so we decided we would go ahead to Newburg. Um, and that place is called Sheep Skeins. Let me. Ugh. Sheep Skeins yarn. And this is in Newburg. It's actually not very far from where I used James and I used to live uh, the apartment and again it's still not very far it's like right on the edge of Newburgh and Evansville so half the time I just considered that it's in Evansville uh, yeah anyways it's a really nice story let me go ahead and show you pictures and videos all right here's our next stop sheep skeins in Newburgh and everyone's her it's all the it's all my bitches <laughs> But uh, I don't know much about this store, but it's a nice little store here in Newburgh, and we're gonna head in. Excuse me. The fingering weights over here, all the yarns. Oh. 
I have plenty at home, I just didn't. Flaps. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to miss that one. Okay. In my opinion, we're going to have Next year, we'll give you a buzz. Okay, so this is a very big yarn store. Um, I want to say it's about the same size as Atkins, and maybe not, but um, they are definitely shawl knitters at this store. Uh, there's a huge selection of like shawls that they've knit, and they're so pretty. And I'm, I'm sure you could buy the shawl. I mean, it'd be expensive, but uh, I'm sure you could buy some of their samples. They are so gorgeous, and they do have a wide variety of yarn. Um, lots of Noro. Oh, what is that? Madeline Tosh. Lots of that. And there's one other, and I can't think. I I don't think it's Plymouth they have a lot of but I mean they they have like I said a wide variety of yarn so you really can't go wrong there and I found the only thing I bought was the yellow it's the same same brand as the other one I bought for the Wonder Woman Shaw and it is color 7827 so and sorry for the crinkling but yeah it's a dark darker yellow and I, the only thing I have to complain about the store is they don't put price tags like on anything. Like everybody else, there was a price sticker on it or a very clear sign. A lot of the stuff here, it's not a fairly clearly marked price wise. Uh, and, and that kind of bothers me because I feel like there's a lot of times I haven't bought yarn because I didn't know the price and I just figured it was too expensive, you know? Um, that, that, that is kind of a pet peeve of mine. I, I want things well marked so I know what the price is. And because, you know, I'm just, sometimes I'm not as comfortable. And if someone's busy, I don't want to bother them. And that's probably bad on my end. I should want to speak up a bit more. But, you know, that's just me. And I, th I think it was only like, it was 5 to 5.50, you know, somewhere between there. So it wasn't that expensive um, I really think it was actually cheaper than Atkins I think I think this was five dollars at their store but um, it just it, I hate that it's not marked stuff is not marked very clearly there and but but you can't beat the selection there's a huge selection and I do frequent that store from time to time because it is the closest with the the best well I don't want to say the best selection but a wide a wide selection so and yeah, the next store we went to uh, was in Evansville, Indiana. It's Knitwits. I actually did not buy anything here. Uh, at this point, I had everything on my list, and there really wasn't anything that really spoke to me that I wanted. And I, I was very tired at this, this point. Uh, this was definitely pushing pushing the envelope. But they are closing. I they're still open right now when this is going to be posted. But um. I know they're closing soon, which is which is sad. It's sad to see a yarn store close, but I think it's more she's retiring, and I don't believe her because this is rumor. I think her daughter. The plan was kind of her daughter would take over, but her she did. She chose not to. She didn't want to, and they actually. You can see it's a pretty big store, and. I know they had problems like kind of rent, they new location and the rent went up, so that's that never helps things. But it's half a stationary type store as well, which I think that's very much her daughter's side of the business, and she uh, is the yarn side. Again, I really don't know a lot about this store. It's I know it's been around at least as long as I've been knitting, so that's been about 12 years. Uh, they were at a different location in, in town, but they moved here, which is it's a bigger, nicer store, but I guess the rent and whatnot. That, that's always the hard thing with a lot of yarn stores. Uh, Sonia is lucky. Sonia and Cheryl are very lucky because they own their stores, so there's they don't have to worry about that so much. And But then other places, you know, rent can 
get jacked up really bad on them. I don't know if Serendipity, if she owns hers or not. Um, I believe, I'm pretty sure Sheepskins owns theirs because uh, the owner's brother, I think, actually has a greenhouse behind the building. Like, a, there's a whole nother business behind it. But, it's that. So I will show you some videos and you can see what they had left. All right, here is our last stop of the day and of our trip. This is uh, Nitwits. I can't even see it. It's Nitwits. It's here in Evansville, Indiana. Sadly, they are closing for good, but um, it's a nice local store. So, and... Get out of town. Stop buying the stuff before I get here. She's not going to like you. I have not. I know more normal with the all kinds of stuff. Oh, look at she's. <laughs> but that was 2017 Indiana Yarn Crawl uh, with my lovely group that went with me. Uh, all of us except for Jessica actually had passports, so we were able to get them stamped. And all of the stores we went to except for Atkins and Sheepskins, uh, they had a a door prize that anyone could enter but then at Atkins and Sheepskins you had to make a purchase for the the store's door prize but then with the the passport you get it stamped at each one and then whenever you're done like you're not going to go to any more stores or you've gone to all the stores you turn in the passport and that way you you're entered into drawings and there's actually I think kind of like levels where I know if you go to all eight yarn stores there's like the super grand prize that you can get entered into and then I think it kind of goes down from there Not exactly sure how that works, but so far I have not won a door prize at least three of the stores have uh, announced their winners and and I didn't win I Didn't win anything, but there's always the chance of the passport drawing which they're all the stores will meet at the end of the month and um, do the drawing and then because you had to put on there what your local yarn store was, so then they took, they'll do the drawing, and then who, whatever your yarn store is, they take the prize back, so you can pick it up from them. But, but yeah, uh, we like I said, we had <laughs> so much fun. It was ridiculous. I was exhausted by the time I came home, but could not help it. And I don't know. I'm really excited. We've already talked that it'd be super exciting next year to do all the stores and you know, go ahead and plan for a single weekend where, let's say Saturday we, you know, Saturday we do one half, like the half that we did, and then Sunday we do the other half, the northern half. And that's the nice thing with the Ileana Yarn Crawl. They, it starts on a Friday and then it ends on the following Sunday or Saturday, Sunday or Saturday. But um, all the stores are open every day, so Sunday and Monday when stores are usually closed, they are open from 10 to 5. That way, anyone's schedule, you can get, get to the stores. And, yeah. And, of course, it's their local time because, um, like, Huntingburg and Vincennes are an hour ahead. They're on Eastern time, and I believe everyone else is Central time. No, Terre Haute would be Eastern as well. I don't know. I, I hate living so close to the time zone border. It gets really frustrating sometimes, but thankfully I don't have to pass it, you know, pass the, the line every day like some people, but that's not the point. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to stop talking because this is probably ridiculous, ridiculously long at this point. So thank you so much for watching and I can't wait for next year and you will see more postings from me.